All right, what's up you guys? Um, today we're gonna be doing another track with Daisy. I think this is her fourth track. We've got the uh, old severed deer leg that came off one of the does I shot last year. Uh, this doe, I've got them all labeled in the freezer. This doe, I shot with the bow and she ran, uh, I think it was like 120 yards, something like that. 120-ish yards, double lung. So supposedly in their micro digital gland, I believe it's called, supposed to put out a, a pretty strong scent which she tracks and you know I think she I think she ends up tracking me a lot of the times when we're doing this but as long as she's getting repetitions tracking and then the reward is her finding the hoof I'm good with it so I'm gonna shut this off put a track it's gonna be the longest track she's done to date by a long shot I'm gonna try to do about 300 to 400 yards with a lot of turns um, but she's really fast and she's got a really good nose on her. So she usually, if I do a 50 or 100 yard track, she gets done with it in about 45 seconds. So I'm gonna put a lot of turns in. I'm gonna try to throw her off and uh, we're gonna see We're gonna see how it goes. So we'll see you guys here in a minute. All right, so I've got this thing. Man, these bugs are pretty bad. All right, so I've got the uh, deer leg dragging behind me. I'm gonna get a really good scent trail going, get her used to smelling it. And then here up here, in about 30 or 40 yards, I'm gonna pick it up and carry it um, so that she can't smell it on the ground and uh, see if she can figure that out. I'm gonna end up going around those little bunches of trees like that. I've got a, I've got some stuff up here that I think might throw her off. And uh, there's been deer walking in this in the evenings. So I'm hoping that she can tell the difference between the leg I'm dragging and the real deer track, so. We're gonna see, I'm about to pick it up here. Here in just a second. All right, from that spot right there, I'll go ahead and pick it up. All right, so I picked it up and carried it. Not super far, but far enough I think it, you know, it could throw her off. I just did a 45 degree turn right there. Um, I'm paying attention to wind too, because Daisy has figured out that she can just get downwind and uh, she'll just throw her nose up in the air, start winding it, and she'll find it so fast when she does that, which I just got a breeze pushing back to where I started at, or where she's gonna start at, so that's no bueno. Um, but here I am going around these trees. I wanna come up here. I don't know how far I'm into it yet. One good thing is this grass behind me is I can actually see that trail that I'm making with this leg. So whenever she comes in here and starts tracking, hopefully the video camera, oh, there's a skunk out here somewhere. Hopefully the video camera can pick up um, that, that trail that I'm leaving and you can really see her follow it. I got a fresh trail right here, actually. I don't know what that's from, but I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna make a hard turn. And I'm gonna put this out here, right out here in the middle of this, and see how she does finding that. All right, well, I'm gonna take a few more steps. I'm gonna shut this off and go get her. And uh, when we get her out here. All right, well, I just laid the track. Um, probably somewhere around 300 yards. I was gonna do 350 to 400, but I don't know. I don't really want to push it too far. It's, I don't know. She could probably do it either way, but I'm gonna stick with with uh, with what I've got right here, about 300 yards. I'm gonna go get her. I'll cut her loose while I'm doing this training. Um, if you guys are wondering, while I'm doing this training, I'm really I'm really just giving her, you know, verbal praise. Uh, when I can tell she's on the track and that really gets her fired up and um, because I know where the track is it's easy for me to give verbal praise when she's on it whereas if we were out in the field and she didn't have any training I wouldn't know if she was on the right track or not so I'm hoping by doing this yeah there's a lot of deer tracks right there but I'm hoping by doing this she gets confident in in what she's smelling and what she's doing so she has no question when she starts uh, starts running these trails on on real wounded deer, 
Um, but in the end, I think she's gonna do pretty well out here. Um, I didn't have any, you know, mentor to get me into this, and I've really learned most of what I got off YouTube and, and Google, but um, this is, like I said, this is gonna be her fourth or fifth track, and uh, I imagine she's gonna find it pretty quick. She does pretty well, so either way, when I go get her, I'll bring you guys back. Come here, come here, Daisy. All right, so she's got it. Uh, she's got this game figured out. And what she's doing right now, Dad Gummit, Daisy, Daisy, <whistles> Daisy. All right, well, she's already on that stinking trail, you guys. Daisy. Yep, that's her last time going off leash. So she's about to turn by that. So right out there is where I made that 45. And what she's gonna do is go behind these trees once she gets back on it because that trail goes right in front of this tall grass, which she might be on it already. Yep, she's on it. She's gonna go around the trees. She's on that trail real hard right now. So she's gonna go around the trees. She go to the right of that bundle. She'll take a left, she'll go straight. So she just passed it up, that's all right. She's just figuring it out. So right now she's on my back track. And this is what we're out here for. She's on my back track, that's okay. We're just gonna let her figure it out. Go figure it out. So what she did right there was she got to the intersection of my back track, which is what she's on right here. And that deer trail, which goes in between these, this bunch of trees right here and that single tree and that trail goes in between those and cuts back at 90. And what she did was she hit that intersection of my back track and she took my back track instead of the deer trail, which means she's tracking me, which is not what I want. Now she's back on it. And she just hit that 90 perfect. I don't know if you guys could see that or not. But she's on it. Good girl, hunt it up. Hunt it up. Yep, yeah, she's on it. She'll find it here in about 20 seconds. You got it? You got it? Hunt it up. Hunt it up. No. Hunt it up. If you found it, go sit on it. Hunt it up. Let's go. Let's go. Hunt it up. Let's go. Good girl. Oh, she did find it. That's why she came back to me. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is her favorite part right here. Good girl, Daisy. You did awesome. Yeah. All right. So, as you guys can see, she did pretty well. I think she did. I mean, I've seen a few dogs work like this. And uh, for a 10 month old puppy, she competes with most of them. Um, if she's not better than most of them, which in my personal opinion, which I'm a little biased, I think she is better than most of them. But I mean, she knows the game, she knows the gig. So she's got it figured out now where she can tell when I get in the deep freezer and pull one of them bags out, one of them Ziploc bags, she knows, she knows what's happening, that's why when she came running out of the house back there, I couldn't stop her. She came back here, got right on that trail. So, hmm. like I said, that's our fifth track. So what I think gonna have to happen next is I'm gonna have to come, I'm gonna have to go, you know, drive half a mile, two miles up the road to a piece of property I've got up there, or I've got access to up there, and I'll run a track. 
That way she's not gaming the system. She doesn't know what's happening. We've done three or four tracks in this field right here. All of them look different. All of them, most of them have a different starting point, which I think is pretty crucial. But as you guys can see right there is when she hit that back track, that tells me that she was tracking me, not that, not necessarily the deer foot. So either way, I just want her, I just want her to get some good reps tracking in general. It doesn't, I don't really care if it's the deer hoof or not. And when that, when the time comes, she'll know what the game is and she'll know how to track it. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with her and we're going to keep grinding. It's, uh, I don't know, August 10th or something like that. So August 10th. We'll go, uh, oh man, I don't know, month and a half till deer season. Hopefully first week we can get her on a track. All right, so while this track was fresh in my mind, I wanted to cover a couple things that I liked and what I didn't like. I know when I'm watching YouTube videos on people that, run, that are running tracking dogs, I know a lot of times they're not necessarily, you know, given the good and the bad. And I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm at least gonna try to cover it, so. A couple things that I liked was that she got on the trail and she kept her nose to the ground. She wasn't trying to wind it. And that, there's obviously times that I'd, I would like her to wind it if that makes it easier. But for the most part, I want her nose to be to the ground. Um, you know, another thing that I liked is that she stayed on the trail and uh, she didn't give up on it when she lost it a couple times when she overran some of those turns. Now, some of the things that I didn't like was the first thing right out the gate, she took off, hit the trail and didn't stop. And I couldn't call her back, and that's not normally like her. I can normally I can call her off of cats in the neighborhood. So um, we're gonna have to work on that, or I'm gonna have to keep her on a leash, which I'm gonna do either way when we're when we're running her um, in the woods. But I'm gonna have to keep her on a leash. So I didn't like that. Also, I didn't like the fact that she when she found it, she didn't sit on it. And um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna train that, but that is something that I'm gonna have to work on with her. Is she'll find it and then she'll come back to me and sit down. Um, and obviously when I told her to hunt it up and get back on it, she took us right to it, which is exactly what she's supposed to do. But I'd really like her to run out there and just sit on it. Cause when I got a Garmin on her and I can sit there, you know, and check my Garmin if, I mean, she's gonna be on leash. So I don't really have to worry about that. But if she was running off leash, I could check my Garmin and she'd be right there on it. Um, I'm trying to think, I thought there was a third thing that I didn't like about that track. I'm sure it'll come to me and I'll put it on top of the, across the screen right here while I just stand here and stare at it. But either way, um, overall pretty good track. And like I said, we're gonna get her back out there and we're gonna get, we're gonna go to a new place a couple miles up the road. So she's getting, getting in the car, getting in the truck and heading out there and getting out and tracking like that instead of doing it, you know, kind of off leash the way she was right here. Um, but overall she did really well. And what I've been using is like I said, deer hooves from last year I had I mean, I think I had a dozen, I think I had 12 hooves total from deer that, that ran 100 yards or more from last year. And I've got a liver and I've got some hide in there too. Like I said, it, if she's tracking me, then that's fine. As long as she's getting reps tracking, I'm good with that. Um, if you guys have any advice on things I could do with her to kind of hone her skills on, on deer tracking, I'd appreciate it. Just put it in the comments and let me know what you think. Um, but either way, I appreciate you guys watching. and. Uh, Stay tuned for the next episode. It'll probably be another video of her tracking. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching.